Before we can install our rafter hangers, we first need to determine the proper spacing between each rafter. There's two ways to determine that. Your CAD drawing is going to have the exact dimension from the center of your outside box beam to the center of each rafter. And as long as you didn't change the dimensions of your pergola, that measurement will work just fine. I kind of like to do it the old-fashioned way, so I use a tape measure and a pencil. Now, we, we already know that this pergola from the outside of my post to the outside of my post over there is 120 inches. So I take that 120 and I divide it by the number of rafter spaces I have on the pergola. A 10 by 10 pergola has four inside rafters, so that's going to give me five spaces. So I take 120 inches divided by five, and that gives me 24 inches. So I'll start right here on the outside edge, lay my tape measure out, make a mark at 24, mark at 48, mark at 72, and a mark at 96. Now if I did it right, should be from the outside edge here to my mark, 24 inches, and it is. Once I have that all marked out, I can take my rafter hanger and my rafter hanger tool, and this comes, it's labeled there, it comes in every single kit, and that rafter hanger tool, if you look real closely, it has a little center notch, and that's to put over the mark that you just made on the beam. So I take that tool, I center it over that mark, I take my rafter hanger, and I put that rafter hanger right there, and that kind of holds it at the exact height I want for my rafter. From there, I grab my fasteners. This bag's labeled rafter hanger to beam. I grab a handful of those, stuff them in my back pocket, and start putting screws in my rafter hanger. Now there's eight holes in here. For the sake of time, we're just going to fill in two. And once you have all eight in there, you can peel your rafter hanger tool off and repeat that step at every mark down the outside box beam. Then you're going to want to go ahead and transfer those measurements from this box beam to the back box beam. Now assuming that you have a house back here or a structure, you can use those same measurements and attach um, those rafter hangers to the ledger plate that's on the house. So no matter what you do, you want to make sure that those rafters are installed parallel with the box beams. So once you have those rafter hangers installed, you can take your 2x6 box beam, slide it in that side, come over this side, slide it past there, and then you can go ahead and attach your rafters to those hangers. Grab my screws there. And these are labeled as well, rafter hanger to beam. So put a bunch of these in my front pocket. And these install just like this. Nice clean finish. So you go ahead and put in all the screws for your rafter hangers, repeat that step for every rafter down the line, and we're ready to put on our purlin holders.